Hello, my name is Harry Plotke, and I'm a graduate of St. Mary's College. I graduated in 1959. The film you are about to see consists of home movies that I took while a student at St. Mary's. I arrived on campus in August of 1955 and graduated in the spring of 1959. So this 20 minute film covers that period. Since these images are almost 50 years old now, they were originally on eight millimeter film. Now it has been transferred to the DVD format. If you were here at St. Mary's during that period or not, I think you will enjoy this old time movie. It gives you some insight into what life was like back then. When I arrived on campus for freshman week in 1955, it was my first look at St. Mary's College. It looked great. It was even better than the pictures I had seen in their brochures. I was captivated by the beauty, the bluffs, the large campus, the spaciousness, and well-kept grounds. This is a pathway uh, that bordered a huge by huge pine trees separating the gymnasium and Frontenac Field. Incoming freshmen arrived on campus a week before the rest of the students. Now there's uh, Stewart, I think uh, Gene Stewart, um, playing horseshoes during freshman week. There's Thad Tran, he had a broken arm back then. And uh, what it was, it was an opportunity for the incoming freshman, that's me in the green, um, an opportunity to get oriented and uh, get used to the new surroundings before the upperclassmen came. Now this is a creek in the back of Frontenac Field that was dammed up and that's where we used to swim. We didn't have a swimming pool and a beautiful waterfall that it uh, ended up showing. Now if you climbed up the uh, ski slope and the path that led to Julius Point, you got a panoramic view not only of our campus, and you can see there are a lot fewer buildings back then, but um, in back, uh, across the Mississippi River, those bluffs, that's uh, Wisconsin. So um, as I got up higher and higher, you got to see a little better what St. Mary's campus was really composed of. And that was our a bonfire that night, which uh, we had camaraderie. They did have some placement tests that they gave us too. This is Mickey Finn. Uh, he was actually owned by Brother Patrick, but Brother Patrick lived in the faculty residence and they didn't allow pets. So Mickey Finn stayed with us and uh, what a dog. I, uh, the bigger stick the better. Mickey liked the big stick. I used to plan my classes so my second period was always free. I could always go check my mail and take Mickey Finn for a walk out to the creek. That's if the creek wasn't frozen. Now this is Parents Weekend. That's my mom and dad in front of Our Lady of the Lilies. Um, mom and dad came up on a train from Chicago, Burlington Special, that uh, carried all the parents that wanted to come up for Parents Week. And uh, so I gave them a real show of the campus. This is the first time they had seen St. Mary's. And uh, you see we wore suits back then. and. Uh, <clears throat> I not only showed them uh, the front lawn and the various buildings, but uh, here we are going through the cornfields. <laughs> I gave them the whole tour, and uh, they enjoyed it. Yeah, Dad uh, had to pay the big bucks to send me here. I don't know exactly how much, but I think it was less than a thousand dollars a year tuition, room, and board. But he had to borrow the money to send me here. 
And this was uh, a structure out in the back of St. Joseph's Hall where uh, the student brothers lived. It's overlooking from Terrace Heights, the old highway, uh, 61 came right there, uh, Gilmore Road. As I said, I showed them the whole campus. <laughs> we uh, got worn out, but uh, that was good. They wanted to see where I was at. And it was actually a beautiful day. I think the weekend uh, was in October. That was Sacred Heart uh, Seminary there in the background. And this was the new dorm at that time, Aquinas Hall, which uh, now I think is Vlasny Hall. It's neat to see the old cars. Uh, that's passing Vlasny Hall again. Here they were building the new science building, which uh, I think is uh, Hoffman Hall now. I had Dr. Hoffman for some German classes. Um, this is Park Hotel. Like I said, nothing but the best for mom and dad. This was downtown Winona back in the 50s. And uh, it may look like it's an antique auto show, but that's uh, the way it was. Here comes a Studebaker, I think. And mom and dad were leaving on the St. Mary's Special back to Chicago. If you look closely, mom has my laundry tin. She's taken it back uh, full of dirty clothes so she could mail it back to me. Usually she included some treats with the laundry. Uh, 